Sarah, I lead the research team at Coinbase Indices. We are a crypto index provider that aims to bring transparency and science to crypto investing. We have developed a suite of crypto index products that cover single assets as well as multiple assets. We're also a subsidiary for Coindesk, which is a leading media company in the crypto space. There is a lot of data in the crypto space, but quality data is actually very hard to find. Mm -hmm. So as an index provider, the first thing people ask us is what is the price for Bitcoin, for example? And to answer that question, depending on what time of the day and which exchanges you are getting data, that answer could be very different. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, with a mission of developing quality indices that are investable for institutional clients. So we put a lot of research into what are the, are the eligible exchanges to source pricing data from and how do we aggregate them to generate investable products. And also, we have developed this digital asset classification standard, which is really trying to build a roadmap for investors to understand different type of digital assets. They all come with different type of use cases and technology. So when you look at them, we are trying to build a three-tiered system, which has six sectors, 23 industry groups, and 36 industries that really try to put different digital assets in different categories. For example, Bitcoin and Ethereum are very different, right? Bitcoin being a currency and Ethereum being a smart contract platform that's really serving as infrastructure for other tokens to build uh, decentralized apps on it. There is a rigorous research process behind that. So every month, my research team will look at the top 500 digital assets that's listed on um, the, the top 500 largest as digital asset in the, in the crypto ecosystem. And what we do is we really do deep dive into their website, look at their use case, read their white paper, and really verify what they are doing. What, what is their use case and are they doing something they, are, they, are, they claim they are doing? And through that rigorous process, we're able to classify the top 500 tokens in the ecosystem. In addition to that, you know, crypto um, space is evolving very fast. And what we do is we review the taxonomy and the classification on a periodic basis to make sure they are current. There are so many different ways, depending on where you are in the investment process. Mm -hmm. From a pre-trade basis, we have hedge fund managers, for example, use our crypto data to do back testing because we have the longest history real-time Bitcoin uh, price data. And then we also have asset managers license our index as an investment uh, to launch investment products, based, uh, passive investment products based on our indices, both in single asset space and in multi asset space. And post trade, we also have active managers using our benchmarks to evaluate their performance as well as doing performance attribution to evaluate their active skills. Yeah, I mean, the market is definitely going through a stress test right now, right? I would say it's a bear market for prices, but it may be a build market for companies and protocols with a well whistle and technology to really build meaningful applications. Mm -hmm. So in my view, it's it's a good thing that the market is going through the stress test. And as Warren Buffett mentioned, when the tide comes, you will see goals what you will see who is swimming naked. And then there are definitely companies like us who is providing more data and transparency into the market for investors to understand what are the performance for different digital assets, what are their use cases, so they have better data and tool to evaluate their investment thesis. And lastly, there will definitely be more clarity in the regulation, which will be a good thing because until there is clarity, companies know what to build and investors will have uh, better adoption in terms of this new technology and investments. Yeah, you know, I came from a TradFi world to the crypto world and I always have the investment thesis on democratization because I think there are a lot of investment thesis which are not typically accessible to investors. And crypto create this liquid opportunity where investors can access certain technology which is usually only accessible to institutional investors. But also I think with the data and with the digital asset classification standard we're building, we're really bringing science into this market. So investors will, can based on this data, investors can build models and tools to really evaluate the intrinsic value of a crypto so the, the whole market is going to mature and not easily manipulated by narrative.